Hello guys, my name is Shaitanya. I am a professional musician, a music producer, and an aspiring singer. I currently play the guitars for Ayushman Khurana's band Ayushman Bhava, Lisa Mishra, Ash King, Vasudha Sharma, and lots of other singers. Welcome to my first professional vlog. I've been meaning to do this since a very long time, but it's really a lot of time and effort. Lagta hai. And hats off to all the YouTubers who do this professionally, man. video editing sound recording i honestly don't know how i'm going to do this but since the virus outbreak sab log ghar pe baithe hain aur maine socha ki kuch productive kiya jaye dusron ke liye aur khud ke liye and yeah this is going to be a great experience i really hope i do this on a regular basis one fine day i just randomly decided to post about this on instagram ki okay i'm going to start a blog और बहुत सारे सजेशन आए उसमें से द बेस्ट टॉपिक दैट आई फाउंड दैट आई कुड स्टार्ट ऑफ विद वॉज एनालॉग पेटिंग्स ग्रेट टॉपिक एंड इफ यू हैव नोटिस आई गोड बी स्विचिंग बिटवीन इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी बिकॉज यार हिंदी के तो लगे हुए हैं जो प्रोसेसर्स वर्सेज एनालॉग अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ओके यहाँ पे बहुत सारे वीडियोज है इसके बारे में बहुत सारे लोगों ने बातें की है इसके बारे में मेरे हिसाब से ये क्या है आई एम गोड ट्राई एंड एक्सप्लेन इट यू I'll be as brief as I can because ये बहुत ज़्यादा vast topic है और phone silent पे नहीं किया मैंने Wow starting off with processors or digital processor digital processor एक ऐसा component है एक ऐसा unit है जिसमें आपको drives distortion effects like delays reverbs modulations phasers सारी चीजें एक ही unit में आपको मिल जाएंगी analog pedals on the other hand are single unit components that only serve one purpose most of the time so you will need to have all of those single single pedals alag se aapko usko assemble karna padega power karna padega and then your pedal board will be ready so the time i started playing the electric guitar there were a lot of companies were coming up with really cool digital processors like line 6 pod x3 live pod hd 500 boss gd10 and so on so i just happened to pick up the pod x3 live and i played it for a good 2 years i believe till the day my bandmate from my band life mr vikal sharma introduced me to analog pedals thank you so much soon he started asking me to shift to an analog setup because he believed that it will give me lot of flexibility i'll improve my dynamics my tones and it'll give me lot of control on how i sound one fine day i decided to shift to an analog setup pata nahi tha kya hai kaisa hota hai how much it's going to cost so i went to the guitar store where i was also learning guitar alberto music alberto already had a lot of experience with analog gear so he introduced me to a few pedals drives distortion delays and stuff like that this may sound very unrealistic but there's a huge huge difference that you will feel on your hands when you switch to an analog pedal but no worries with practice sab kuch bahut easy ho jata hai aur jaldi easy ho jata hai the other thing that i struggled with was figuring out eqs you will have an eq on the amp and you will have an eq on the pedal as well i believe that the distortions and drives that you get in a processor do not sound as good as they do on an analog pedal again there are processors that have come really close really close to what an analog pedal can deliver it's also what you feel on your hands and trust me you will feel it in your hands the day you switch to an analog setup let's dive into some playing examples i'm using a boss blues driver bd2 and a sir riot reloaded for distortion so we'll start off with drive first boss blues driver into an igniter tweaker 45 using my chinese strat with new pickups and a new paint job thank you random acts of art for this all right this is my clean tone and this is the drive signal Let's get into the tone shaping options this pedal has. Okay, so we have a level 
we have a tone knob and we have a gain okay point number one always have a similar level when it comes to your clean and drive patches because jabhi aap drive kick in karenge and everything goes loud outside your sound engineer is going to mute you and people are going to go deaf so yeah okay so check karte hain साउंड लाइक अ गुड इनफ लेवल और थोड़ा एक्स्ट्रा लाउड होगा हल्का सा आई थिंक यू कैन वर्क विथ इट डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट सॉन्ग यूर प्लेइंग एंड हाउ यू वॉन्ट योर बैंड टू साउंड एंड हाउ यू वॉन्ट थिंग्स टू साउंड ऑन द स्टेज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी वॉट रियली मैसेज अप योर टोन आर टू थिंग्स इफ इट्स टू डल एंड सेकेंड वन इफ इट्स टू ब्राइट अगर बहुत ज्यादा आपके कान को लग रहा है टोन अगर एम्प से आपको वैसे सुनाई दे रहा है जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ इट्स गोन साउंड आउट साइड वेन इट्स एम्पलीफाइड ऑल यू हैव टू बी श्योर ऑफ इज दैट इट्स नॉट टू ब्राइट और नॉट टू डल फ्रॉम योर एम्प ट्रेबल इज अ डेफिनिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी मतलब बाहर के लोग कान पकड़ लेंगे अगर आपका ट्रेबल बहुत ज्यादा क्रैंक टप है आई जस्ट गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल आई रियली डोट वॉन्ट टू डू दिस बट Another example, if it's too dull, it's gonna sound. थोड़ा बढ़ाते to my original level. Moving on to the next knob in the drive pedal. Which is the gain? Gain decide करता है आपका टोन कितना डोटी होगा एंड सो ये आपका जीरो पे है एंगेजिंग द पेडल दिस इज ऑन जीरो इट्स गोन बी क्लीन ओके नाउ एज आई इंक्रीज इट फर्दर यूल योर अ लिटिल ब्रेकअप Okay, this drive was apt for rock music. Let's try and do some funk with this. All right, let's play to a track now and see how things sound with drums and bass. on to distortion it can go really heavy and you will have all the gain you need for those screaming solos agar aapko bahut zyada sustain chahiye aapke notes mein ya fir bahut zyada heavy riff bajana hai so you can use something like this let's see what we've got here we've got a level knob distortion and tone and we've got a voice knob that i'm not going to get into right now and we're going to work with what we've got over here only सेम चीज आपको फॉलो करनी है यू जस्ट हैव टू वॉच योर टोन नॉट दैट्स ऑल ड्राइव बहुत सब्जेक्टिव है लेवल आपको ऑलमोस्ट आपके क्लीन जितना ही रखना है सो दैट यू डोंट ब्लो एवरीबडी इज योर ऑफ इन द ऑडियंस लेट्स चेक आर लेवल्स फर्स्ट ओके दैट्स गोन टू किल पीपल आउटसाइड सो अगेन little soft so <laughs> agar
अगर आपको सारी स्ट्रिंग्स क्लियरली सुनाई दे रहे हैं मतलब आपका टोन नॉब सही काम कर रहा है Let's see how it sounds with bass and drums. talk about is effects good news for the people who already own processors and who don't want to sell it off you can use effects and modulations from your existing processor or existing digital processor how that works is i feel that drives and distortions sound very synthetic on processors but i don't find that much of difference when it comes to delays and reverbs of course there are great great delay pedals and reverb pedals and modulation pedals made by a lot of companies that do make the difference but starting ke liye agar budget kam hai to chal jayega all you have to do is turn off any amp simulation cap simulation pretty much everything that's there on your processor and completely bypass it and just have your effects running in place so your signal chain will look like your guitar going into your drive pedal drive pedal going into your distortion pedal distortion pedal going into your processor and processor going into your amp that's how it's going to work and trust me it'll work just fine so we've come to the end of this video and i just like to say that please please make the shift as soon as you can it will make a big difference to your playing big difference to your tone and overall musicality i'll say it again but analog pedals will make your fingers work hard that's what she said <laughs> The harder you play and hit the strings will generate more gain and you know give you the sound you desire. That's what she said. That's Ultimately the tone is in your hands. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video guys. I really hope you liked my content. This was not an easy job. Thanks a lot to everybody who messaged me on Instagram and motivated me to do this. See you in the next one.